What's up guys? I am here at the Aviary in Pittsburgh. So I'm here with Hasib and Cody. Um, and we actually have permission to record a video. So we're just gonna walk around and I'm gonna show you what this place is like. So what's Oh my gosh, they're all right there. We're in the grasslands right now. Look. They're so close. Dude, do you remember at Norm's place how many how we would get like different color fences all the time when we had that bird feeder set up? Yeah. The yellow ones, I feel like we saw them. Oh, it's so cool to see birds that aren't in a cage. They can just fly anywhere in here. Yeah, they've like all this natural sunlight up there too. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh look, there's like a golden finch up there. So we're not supposed to touch the birds. That's good to know. Okay. What? It, that's so cool up there. <laughs> the finch is on the, the little handicap button sign thing. This guy's in jail. I wonder what he does. Maybe he's sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it says, do you see the bird in the cage? The cages are used to introduce birds to their new exhibit. Oh, that's fine. And mates. Sorry, yeah. are yeah. Look at this little one. Oh my gosh. This is cool. It's so turmoil. It's so cool that there's like not a glass. Oh. Some of these guys are well oh. They're so pretty. That's beautiful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, little one. It's so cool how there's no like glass. It is, and they, yeah. they just maneuver around this room like experts. Yeah, a bird. Really is. Seeing birds is usually so sad because they're in a cage or something, but they can just go anywhere they please within this room. Oh, wow, that bird's having tug of war. There's all these nests and stuff. Oh, look, there's a little bird in its nest. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Absolutely adorable. What? This place is cool. I wonder if this place like supplies the things they need to build the nest. I mean, I would guess because of the sticks and leaves. We could probably read something on the wall for that answer. Probably, yeah, it is. Look at all these little fishes and stuff. There's so many of them. And that's definitely a fake plant. But they don't seem to mind. Oh, you little love birds. They got a little nest. <laughs> Have you ever seen weaver birds? Weaver birds are crazy. They're an African bird, and they like... It's called weaver? Weaver birds. Weaver they make birds. these little, like, dome nests that hang from branches, and they make them inside trees and colonies, so there's, like, thousands of the nests in one tree. Damn. It's really cool. That's where we're off to next. So the wetlands. The wetlands. We need to... Oh, I'm you. holding the door for you, yeah. It's also cool how they have... Every room has this, like... Separate this entry thing. Yeah, yeah in case you gotta have like one set of doors closed before yeah. you can open the other Whoa. ones. Whoa! Whoa, okay. This is way bigger. What? Look at that! Jeez. This is the room we looked at from the outside. Lots of birds. Whoa. Jeez. That pelican can scratch its back. It doesn't need to worry about these things. Pelicans are scared. They are, they're intense. Look at all of the birds up on those rafters. It's funny. Yeah. 
There's a zoo in Ealing. Really? Yeah. Oh, whoa! What is that? Yo, there's a flamingo up there. The lone flamingo. So patient. Look at all these flamingo! Oh. oh, that's the thing, the waddle curacao. Look at all the flamingo! Oh my gosh! It's adorable! This is a really cool rope. Haseeb, we gotta make a bird room like this someday. Hell yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah, it would. <laughs> if this was next to the living room. I'll meet you in the aviary. Right. <laughs> Look at that guy up there. Boop. Look at this one. over here. I don't see any birds in here. Oh, there we go. They got such funny faces. Such funny faces. You see anything crazy? See a bunch of flamingos in this questioning the physics of their bodies. <laughs> They're just twiggy. Because they, they all kind of bow. None of them are oh, perfectly straight. Right. Yeah, they have that like it's elbow knob. Good. It's got a fish in its mouth. That looks like a dead fish though. Funny how they all just stand on one leg. And they're all like bowed at, at some angle. I mean, it just looks like they're just gonna snap. Yeah, it does. I wonder what's the benefit to just having one leg down versus both of them? Maybe to save energy? I guess. I got <laughs> energy conservation. Should we be walking around with one foot up? I think it's uh, less weight distributed in the water. It's easier to catch fish. That's that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, yeah that would make sense. Well, because the, they eat they eat krill or they eat like shrimp and stuff. Okay, fish. They'll eat anything they can pretty much swallow. Huh. I just know that they get like the flamingo gets its pink color from the a certain kind of shrimp that it eats, and if it doesn't eat those shrimp, then they're like white. Dude, that one's kind of white. That one walking. Yeah, when they're younger, they look like so. Look at the mechanics of its legs. They, so they, they bend like the, the knee would bend forward. Can't be the wrong neighborhood. Oh man! Man, it's good. Everybody's angry. They're wild yeah. out here. What is happening? They're wild. I wonder if these trees are natural. They look like Yeah, it looks like it. And it's, you know, it, it, you can feel it's I like... I think almost all the plants are natural. There's just a couple of fake ones. 
longer you stay in one spot, the more different birds like start pairing. Look at that one with the red face. That was red beak. How about that? If you look at the flamingos long enough, you'll see them just like take the most casual, like deuce right in the water, <laughs> like right next to, to their buddies, like hanging out, eating. Do you guys want to go to the next? Uh, yeah, yeah next room. Room. I think next room. Pretty cool. They have actual penguins? Yeah. They've been here wow. before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the second time here. I was here in November when my right. family came. Mm -hmm. Penguin oh, horns. You've never seen a penguin? Oh! <gasps> what? I hope they get out. Where are you? Okay, cool. cool. Oh, yeah. Holy crap! Oh That's my god, they're so close! Slippy. <laughs> I love his name. Oh, they have names? That's, That's adorable. That's Slippy. Look at that! It's a penguin! Hey, dude. It must find it so weird to be out here because it's like 75 degrees and sunny. Like, it just feels nice. There's like a slight breeze coming through, but you see there's, there's like huge fans up here to kind of, I guess, simulate, uh, you know, get some yeah. flow and coldness, but it's not cold out here at all. I wonder if there's a certain kind of penguin that is more acclimated to the warm weather. Yeah. yeah for I just reached, just recently launched a typical. Oh, these are African penguins. These guys are like African penguins may go extinct without a safe place to build their homes. Effects of human encroachment and harvesting of penguin guano. People harvest pen penguin poop? I wonder what it's good for. I didn't even know there were penguins in South Africa. Harvesting of the... So this is actually their like semi-regular climate. Yeah. Interesting. That's crazy. Definitely smells like fish. Not in the good way. Oh, now it smells like good fish. Wow. That's pretty cool. Well, this part isn't so eventful. It's crazy. Oh, here we go. We got some penguin facts. Let's see. Penguins are built to swim. All right. Penguins eat fish every day. A single penguin can eat up to 15% of its own body weight in fish each day? Holy crap. Lots of fish. Lots of ocean. Dude, that's like if we ate 15 or 20 pounds of fish a day. Jeez, that's insane. Look at this sign. I have trouble eating like a quarter of a pound of fish. This sign is saying don't grab the penguin from the back. If yeah. We pick them up from the front, we can take them home. <laughs> that says no three-fingered people may touch, but I got five. Oh, dude. So. <laughs> take your pick. Which yeah. penguin are we taking home? I, can, I still can't believe I like there's African here. penguins. I didn't know that penguins existed in Africa. I didn't even know penguins existed, period, so I'm learning <laughs> quite a bit today. There's a lot of new information. It's kind of hard to process. On very hot days, penguins may stand with their wings spread. Jesus statue style. That's cool. You ready? 
Yeah. Is it oh, next room time? We're, okay, so like if you can Are see. Are these doctor checks? Oh, there's more over there. I see. Okay. Yeah. I, I think they're checks. Hot chicks, dude. Eggs, dude. One of the things that we're gonna have to <laughs> do while we're here. In the water. If you can, if you can see it, see that like glass case thing right in front of us. Yeah. Like in the rocks. If we go out this way, we can actually. There's like a little tunnel that you can kind of crawl under. through, and you pop out. You can kind of. Oh, get like a you can be in there. Could, yeah, you can be in that what? little glass thing. So that's worth checking out. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Also, the other one just set Let's up. Let's do I that. Wanna, Hey, this guy's yeah. ready to come. Oh, there, there, there's some penguin activity. Penguin. Santa Claus, your man. Oh. There were once millions of African penguins. Look at that drop. But now there's only 80,000 African That's penguins. Crazy. Maybe that explains why I didn't even know penguins were in Africa. I lived in Africa. I lived in South Africa, where these are from. I didn't know they had penguins. You weren't hanging out with them? No. Apparently there were 80,000 penguins there that I didn't know existed. Yo, there's a spider oh. web over there, and I can see the spider, and it's gigantic. Yeah, it is pretty big. Nice. I can see it all yeah. the way from over here. Hey, guys. Oh, that penguin just took a poop. How's it going? Harvest it quick. Like that sign <laughs> said. Is it what? Yeah, I don't Look understand. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look. That's like a thing. You see this? Okay, it says, I know this is backwards, so you guys can't see. African penguins may go extinct without a safe place to build their homes. Effects of human encroachment and harvesting of penguin guano? What do you need penguin poo for? See, there's people, it's like a rare condition where they can't poop themselves. And so... <laughs> they need poop transplants. And they need a way to get, you know, all the, all the minerals and things that the body doesn't need out of their body. So if they... Penguin poop. Take, As a lubricant? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, gotcha. people are getting into like essential oils and more natural <laughs> remedies for things. Penguin poop. You just take, put a little bit of poop under your tongue and it creates the sensation. Oh my that God, that's your body nasty. Ugh. That's why. I, I want to know why people actually need remedy. penguin poo. I really don't know. It could be like some kind of really cheap form of. Wait, were you just you know, doing a bit? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I was believed you. That's oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. I was off the exactly that. It okay. could just be like a very cheap, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, you know, when you're building a house out of bricks and you need the... Oh, yeah, like yeah. a glue? Yeah, like, like an adhesive? I don't know. I, yeah, I'm just, I'm making I mean, that, that is up. something people, people did use like to use feces for that. a free resource or something. To, stuff, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's perfectly free. But, like, I don't understand why taking it is negative for the penguins to, like... Clean up and like well, take it says, the leftover poop. It says from that it makes the penguins have a hard time nesting. Maybe it's like when humans are like smearing their scent over everything. Whoa! Yeah, did that awning? Whoa! What? 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 There's an awning coming out of the wall, and it freaks me out. Oh! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> it, it's like moving. I guess that's just the timing thing. Did you press a button, Hasib? See, what have you done? Oh yeah, look, there is. There's a penguin moving around, being it's active. They were just crying or whatever it is penguins do. I think they coo. Want to check out the next room? Yeah, I want to. Well, I want to go under the little poop to scoop. The poop to scoop. So we, we can go back in the same way we just came out and there's a little, let's see a little tunnel thing. And then in 10 minutes we can feed birds. Yeah, we bought tickets to feed some birds. I wonder if I can record that part. I hope so. That'd well, you can, cool. um, one of us yeah, one. yeah, I can yeah, record can you guys doing it too. Yeah. Oh. oh, wow, there are way more. This is where all the penguins were. Yeah, they all have names. Wow. There's so many names. They're just ducks. I thought they were babies. These are smooths. Look, you can get so close. Doggy and sand. Sunshine. Some kind of little disco. What a great thing. Oh, man, there's so many of them. Oh, there's one in Molly. We were in the wrong place. Okay, that's kind of in this tunnel. Okay, this guy looks a little smaller. Whoa, look at this. Oh my god, there's penguins right there! What? This is amazing! Look, there's right here! Look at that! Oh my god! Like, 
right up in the penguins. That's crazy. This is insane. Look at that. Hey, dude. What's your name? What? Holy crap. Then you can look underwater. Doesn't look like there's anything here, though. Isn't that cool? This is awesome. We're in this like little curl space thing. Oh! There's a seab. I gotta say, this is the coolest penguin exhibit I've ever been in. Although, we were basically looking at the back end of it for the first, like, the past 10 minutes. So now we can see everything else. <laughs> if you ever come here, go in the penguin tunnels. This is awesome. There's even padding to protect your head. And also a fire sprinkler in case something catches fire. This is cool. I feel like I'm like a spy. I'm underneath the penguins. I'm in position. Sorry, I'm sending a, a snap. <laughs> I just like did a 360 view and you can see them all. Yeah, this is cool. This is like kind of doing some kind of covert operation. <laughs> It'd be cool if they were swimming around, but I, that water is probably just like not right. ideal right now. Like yeah, they don't seem sunbathing. to be very interested in the water at the no. moment. Okay. Look at that! Oh my gosh! That's so it's cool. just a penguin! I had no idea there was so much back here. He's right there! So close! I think that one is Holly. This is awesome. There's like Holly and Chris. There's one named Disco, which cracks me. Oh. That was so cool. One more time. Yeah, so that was that was Holly that we were looking at. Holly and Buddy. Oh, hello. Are you saying hello, Buddy? Disco, ready to party. How do you do? Elvis. There's Dottie, <laughs> Dottie and Elvis. Some Just, of their faces look intense. Like, I think Disco is my favorite. Like some of them have more bird-like faces, and other ones have more fish-like faces. Yeah. And then they have, I wonder how often like ducks and stuff just like fly in here. Probably Are these awesome. ducks supposed like a, to be here? I doubt it. Cause there's oh, technically wow. nothing stopping them. There's from, that, well there's that big lake over there with all the, all the, all the geese oh, and ducks so and stuff. Like yeah. I bet that they just come over here. I wonder if a penguin and a goose have ever gotten in a fight. That'd be cool. I would pay to see a penguin and a goose fight. So, what's, whoa, look, that's really beautiful. Look at this painting. That's cool. Really colorful. There's more stuff over there. That's really, that's nice and textured too. That's really cool. Kitchen window. Oh, you can see them making all of the, the food for the animals. Oh, that's really cool. That is cool. That would be an interesting job. I would, I would, I would cook for penguins. I'd do that for a couple months. Some penguin food. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, another penguin tunnel. Okay. Yeah, they're all like hanging out. Oh, and you can see in their nest. Huh. So if a penguin were sleeping, it would be in here. Let's see. Oh. That's so sweet. Penguins are adorable. Whoa. What's that? You see the armadillo? It's an active. Uh, all by oh. itself and going back and forth. Oh, well, that's like sensory deprivation. Yeah. Yeah. Why did they do that? What happened? <laughs> well, he's getting his exercise. This guy. Oh. They're probably rehabilitating it somehow. Yeah, it looks like fearful. Our armadillo is always so active. In the wild, armadillos spend a lot of time foraging for food. They sniff, run, and dig. Yeah, this one's just running in figure eights. Huh.
Oh, oh, hey, look, it's bald eagle. It's always kind of sad to see bald eagles, eagles in cages. But... Look at that. <coughs> Thank you. Good luck. The symbol of America. Whoa. Is this more? Oh, he's standing up now. What's this one? It's a stellar seagull. Oh, right. Where? I can see his head right here. Look how fucking huge his beak is. Jeez. It's like a it's toucan eagle. It's like in the top three. Oh, there he goes. Whoa! Wow, that is big. He's massive. Hey, he's got gully socks. Yeah. <laughs> That's adorable. He's got big enough yeah. Well, really? That's crazy. Oh, we went in the full circle. We gotta do the bird feeding thing. I think. I think it's starting. We got to, apparently you can feed some birds out of your hands, so we're gonna be doing that. Where'd Cody go? Yeah, it's about time. About that time? Yeah. It's this way. I think we've covered almost all the. Oh, we need to go to the condor exhibit. I want to make sure I get everything on video. What's that? It's just gonna be one long video. Publish it. What did you say? I hear you. We got to see the condors as well. Oh yeah. I think we've seen most of the exhibits now. I think it's like one more section. There's a food court here. Oh, can't see very well because it's very well lit, but... Probably. Laughing kookaburra. Hey, a kookaburra. You've talked about that before. Haven't you? I've heard you say that word. Yeah, if you slow down, it's... Like, if you take a video of it and slow it down, it sounds like a demonic laugh. It's really, really Kookaburra! Wow, they look cool. That's a very particular noise. Crazy. They're cool. Please don't imitate them or encourage their laugh. No. Oh. Territorial. What if I told just a hilarious joke though with the <laughs> shot and I was like, Sir. and they just can't help it? Uh, it cool. Okay, so this is big food court thing. Tropical rainforest. Is this, does this door open? Whoa! There's a whole new world over here. Oh, look, that guy's. I thought this was just where the bathrooms are. No, this is, this is like. Oh, the oh, rainforest little, exhibit. Oh, uh, this is what we gotta go through to get to the home. Oh. These are sticky. Whoa. Holy crap. This is awesome. Whoa. There's a bird right on the rail. Look at that. Look at this guy. Yeah, it does look like its brain is outside of its head. What is this thing? Hey, buddy. You look like an alien. I mean, I'm sure you're a good-looking alien, but you look like an alien. I wonder how, like, do they recommend you stay, like, two feet away from the birds? They have macaws. Oh my gosh. They have macaws off in the distance. There's more of the alien bird. And then there's some nests. Look, there's actually, there's a, is that a peacock? No. Is it? It looks like it, but it's got that small though. I guess the small peacocks are a thing. That's crazy. Where was I going? Oh yeah, I wanted to see the macaw, that's right. The macaw is right here. Wow. What kind of bird is this? 
And that's a peacock. Wow. Macaws live for a long time, right? That's like a person. That's crazy. <laughs> They're eating peanuts. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, look, he's opening the nut and taking the peanut out. Oh my God, that's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. And then look at this. Yeah, I think this is a female peacock. Or no, what's the one that, yeah, it's female Sabonian one, right? Female Sabonian one. That's so cool. There's another bird. It's behind the bush, though. Wow. I think this is my favorite exhibit so far. I like that it was, like, in the food court, and it just looks like it's a wall, and then the door opens, and then you're in here. It's really cool. There's some stuff over here. Look at this bird. There's another colorful bird up there. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he's like right there. That's those McCall. Those things lived for 80 years. It's such a long time. And there's this guy again. Whatever that is, Whoa. Like, that's on that wall. It's a peacock. That's a peacock? Uh huh. Yeah. It's got like a sword for, for, yeah. for a tail. It's a female peacock. Actually, I don't know if it is. Sometimes the females didn't have big tails. No, they don't have. So females look pretty boring compared to male peacocks. Male peacocks have really colorful feathers and everything. Females still have a lot of feathers, but they don't have that like colorful look to them. They're mostly gray. So I, I think that's a female. Maybe I'm wrong, but seeing peacocks reminds me of like Buddhist temples and Disney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the way up there. It's cool. You guys want to see the next place? Yeah. I think. Oh, we go over here next. Yeah. So Either here. way, yeah. it's the same. I think. We're gonna feed some birds. Beautiful. Is that a peacock that we've been sitting here debating? It's a great artist. Okay. So peacocks display with their tails, alright? He needs his wing. Oh. Whoa! Wow. That's, that's the same bird? Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. So it's similar to a peacock, but it's not. Similar. Well, peacocks and Argus present because they're both in seven families. Mm -hmm. So is that, when it displays, is that like territorial? Is that for mating? Mating. Mating. And so this is a male or a female? Male. Oh. Female is uh, back here sitting on the lake. Ah, oh, that was the bird looking oh, okay. earlier. Gotcha. Wow. So is there, is I was totally wrong. Male Look at this McClaw. Yeah. <laughs> I like how uh, not scared of people they are. Oh, yeah, I used to. Have you stepped in bird poo yet? I don't think so. Probably. <laughs> oh my god! Look at those bats! They're huge! You can feed them at 3.30. They're huge! I didn't know bats got that big. 
Uh, Whoa, that's insane. Oh man, that's gotta be terrifying. This is called the Milan Flying Fox. I really like how it smells in here. It's like musty, but... That smells like weed a little bit. Oh, maybe that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Oh, they're flying foxes. Oh, flying foxes are fruit bats that live in trees and rainforests and mangroves. What up, bats? Wow. They're fucking adorable. Look at that face. Oh, and they have really good eyesight. They can see? How about bats can you see? We just said they just eat like fruit. Yeah, regular bats are almost blind. But apparently these are so big. Jeez, that's cool. Bats are amazing. They're so cute. I love anything that is judged intensely, but is actually like good for the environment and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so these are just a bunch of photos and histories. What's this? Oh, these are canaries. Look at the little one. Isn't that cute? Just chilling in its nest. Doing its thing. Tony Fro... Yo, Hasib. Owls. Owls are awesome. I think these are owls. A Tony... Oh. So this isn't an owl, but it looks like an owl. And owls hunt with their talons. Well, it's in this place. Oh, those are regular macaws. I love macaws. I always wanted to get one, but they live for so long, it's kind of impractical. They're also really expensive. <laughs> Look at that thing. I like its head. It's cool. It's a pigeon. I never would have guessed that. It's Imagine if these were what populated New York. I never would have assumed that that was a type of pigeon. Oh, the claws are kissing or something. I don't know what they're doing. Looks like they're being into that. Telling secrets. <laughs> Pillow talk. It's really cool. It's real cool. See, this is like more traditional kind of thing. Is this the feeding room? It is, yeah. If you want, like I can, I can take your camera and stuff for you to go in there and feed them. Wow. I'm you on your we have our ticket things too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want me to take the camera deck? I, I can, can. I can just record easy. I'll do one afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna leave this. Yeah. We're gonna feed the birds. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One second, I gotta find my ticket. Uh, 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 Someone just brought a ticket and says they found it, so maybe. Oh, yeah. It, it, it very well could be. <laughs> probably is. It's probably yours. Do we have to sanitize? What? No, you want to hold your arm straight out like that. Okay. Wait till the brakes come down at the brain. Just kind of make a C with your hand. Perfect. Oh, cool. What is this? It is nectar, but it, it has some nutrients in it. It's not just like the Oh, okay. Practice. Yeah. 
I like their little box houses. Yeah. They look cool. <laughs> they look like Amazon boxes. <laughs> oh. Okay, you guys want to go yeah. in? Okay. Do you want to come back to this one? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll come back. I'm good. I just want to record them. Yeah, to the center. Both hands around that cup, put it away in your body, and uh, the birds will find you. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. They're fighting over my neck there, man. They like, oh, wow. That was so quick. I, I caught me by surprise. Oh, yeah, it's like, I'm not waiting. No they, they want it. Hey, right, buddy. That's right. That's the so cool. Eat your sugar water. Wow. They guzzled it down. It's all gone. They have little brush-like hairs at the tip of their tongue that act like straws. They just absorb the liquid that quickly. Oh, really? That's cool. That is it's like so a little straw. Cool. That feels so cool, actually. Look at these two. You want to say Now, when you're gone, the next is gone, the birds will fly away. You can, uh, you're more than welcome to look at them, but then you'll exit that door. Just so wait for Nancy to call you in. That was cool. What, what kind of birds are you using? What? What are you talking about? That's crazy. That, it feels really cool when they're on there. But they just like, hey, it's no fun. It's so cool. Hey, buddy. You're beautiful. Yeah, you are. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Yeah? Lori's. Oh, That's so okay. cool. All right. I weirdly want to try this. It's <laughs> probably yeah, it wouldn't go. Look at all. Right, Looks like honey almost. All right, Jack, you're tired. Do you want to hold the thingy? I do. <laughs> and then, hey, I can't open this one for that one. Thank you. Okay, here's Jack. Here's Turn. All the way to the center. There you go. Very good. You got to hold the basketball. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. This is so cool. Did it? Did it get four? Did they ever fight over it? Yes. Some, I've seen them take their foot and stick it in the face of the other bird to get them out of the, the little... Oh, you found the other one. Did you see the other one? Wow. That's cool. I love how their talons feel. It's like little hugs. Just like little fingers. Yeah. I'm making a, I, I make YouTube videos, so I've been doing a video of this place. Oh, they do have like furry tongues. Oh, it just licked me. What? Whoa. Oh, I just pooped on you too. That's the real moment. What? Thanks for hanging out even though there's no more food. Well, this guy's like, no, I'm just going to sit there. What? <laughs> hey, buddies. <laughs> now he's like, oh, I'll get the rest. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so cool.
And then, what? I'm looking for the edges. Oh, no they are yellow breasted with a green There's so many of them. I think I have a new favorite bird. Oh, crazy. It's really loud. They love the nectar flowers, but they also love fruit. The fruit farmer doesn't like them, though, because they take a bite of it. Wow. Yeah, that was amazing. That was so cool! Thank you, Kerry. I hope that you were in frame for most of that. Yeah, most of it, yeah. It was definitely like a bit like that. No, it's it's cool. sorry. You got messed it up. No, 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 it's fine. I was laughing. It was worth it. I was trying to get you a thumbnail shot, and I hopefully I did when you're like this and you got. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been touched by birds. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cool. I like this guy. He's still chilling here. Let's get another close up of him. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. I guess we gotta wait. Clean our hands. Thank you. It happens. That was so cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. What? Holy crap! Let's take that that way and let's go back around. Yeah. Lorikeet. That's what they are. Lorikeet. I gotta remember that. Lorikeet. 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 That was scary. Spooky. Automatic doors. What? Holy crap. Well, that was amazing. Yeah, Alright, guys. Down. I think that's ever. Oh, wait, no. We haven't seen the, the condor. Condors. Yeah, that's right. Gotta see the condor. So, you wanna I'm still see here. His yeah. You wanna see his wife? Why? Can you show him that video that you showed me? Yes. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. So Does one of you want to... Yeah. Can I... Do you care if I turn it? No, you can't. I don't... I think it stops the recording. Okay. Can I... St it would, should I stop it and turn it? Uh, I'll try keep, and just I'll have keep, okay, in I'll one keep it. I'll keep yeah, it rolling. Yeah. I just went, what? That's awesome. <laughs> the other bird's just like, eh. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's hard to see. It's the, it's the really long, um, I'm sorry, remind me again what type of bird it is. Great Argus pheasant. Great Argus pheasant. Wow. So they, they, you can sometimes just see them doing that here. That's yeah, cool. uh, from November to about March, uh, especially January, February is really active breeding season. Go do this four or five times a day, 20 minutes at a time. So you can reliably see it at that time of year then. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And generally, she would just yawn and walk away. <laughs> like our wives and girlfriends yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And it's funny, too, because there's just there's the one male and the one female here, but he still still does it. <laughs> yeah. During breeding season, if she's not around, uh -huh. he will display for the Victoria Crown Pigeons, the Green and the, <laughs> the other species. <laughs> and, 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 yeah, if uh, computer kiosks, one day I made a mistake of wearing white tennis shoes and he was totally in love with me for that day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy. Crazy. that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, when so if when hormones are surging, you're surging. Yeah. If the female is not around, then it will do that with others instead. During but if that female's around, it'll just yeah. focus on her. Yeah. That's cool. It weighs its options. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's fun. That's amazing. Ready for the condor thing? Yeah. Cool. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, they're so big. So cool. I like how interactive this place is. Wow. 
So pretty. There's so many pretty birds. This place is so relaxing. <laughs> I gotta say, my favorite thing so far has been having a bird like fly right past my face. That was really cool. Yeah. Having all the birds on my arms, oh man. That was really awesome. It's condor time. This is the bamboo thing we walked through earlier. Whoa, that guy's got a big beak. Look at him. Cool. The employees here have been really nice. Sometimes people, ow, oh, sometimes people are weird about recording video, but they've been really cool. And also all of the like random strangers in the background. <laughs> this is the cafe. Get some food and stuff here. So the condor thing is on the other side of the food place? Is that how we, I think that's how we get to it. Yeah, that's how we get to it. Yeah, condor court. Short for coding. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. So this wall has like all of the people who donated, I guess? Yeah, it's like everyone who contributed to having this place exist. What is that? Oh, there's like a little key. Is that a giant bird bath? Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, it's just a coin drop. Wow. Oh, I get it. So, if it's an eagle, they donated $5 million. <laughs> How many eagles are there? I think it's just the one. The Richard King Mellon Foundation. How do you put five million dollars into something? He's the king of watermelons, dude. I've heard of that. But do you know what that is? Apparently they have a lot of money. Five million dollars? Holy crap! That's a lot. Wow, I wonder how much, like, a place like this costs in its entirety to, like, create and maintain. It's gotta be... Well, it's in the millions, obviously, because people have donated millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a coffee shop. It's the kookaburra kitchen. I've heard you say that word so much. Kookaburra. Are you sure? Yeah. Wait, what's the rodent, the big rodent? That's like a guinea pig, but bigger? Capybara. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. Capybaras, not kookaburras. Yeah. Where is uh, Cody? We're waiting for Cody so we can go into the uh, Condor Court. And if we stayed here until 3.30, we could watch the bats be fed. But unfortunately, that's like three hours from now. And this is not going to be a three-hour video. I'll end the video after we go into this thing. But i got to wait for Cody, who's talking to the other guy in the rainforest place. Oh, this is the front entrance. Oh no, this is the exit. Ah. Oh. This makes more sense as a front entrance. I guess we came in the back. Okay, here we go. There's something here. What do we got? Oh, it's an owl! Oh my gosh! Look at that thing! Oh man. That's adorable. Is it a pygmy owl? Burling owl hiss. Oh, okay. So if they hiss, I should back up. But this guy seems all right. He doesn't seem that bothered. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one. 
so these are burrowing owls and they're not nocturnal. They make a hissing sound that's like rattlesnakes. That's cool. Apparently owls don't make their own nests either. Wow. All right, I'm just gonna go into the condor thing. Cody will catch up. Hello. Here we go. Oh, in the door. And now, yeah, see before, well, I did a video yesterday where I was on the other side of this, but now we're actually here. A barred owl? Oh, wow, look at that. They're big. Big creatures. These barred owls were injured in the wild and would be unable to survive if they were released. Interesting. Well, they're definitely looking at me. I thought they were nocturnal. And so, oh look, there's a sleeping condor. Condor are huge, like really, really, really huge. You can kind of see him there. They're not very active right now. I've actually seen them be way more active. Like, you can see its face. They have, like, dinosaur-looking faces. What's this little shack for? Conservation Station? I guess... It smells like cedar. Oh! Record what you see. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. Man, they're so big. What's amazing is if you get to see them with their wingspan, it's insane. Like the size of a person. That's pretty cool. Vulture. Vulture, amazing. I love vulture. What's in here? We have a lesser bird of paradise. Well, I don't see it. I do hear that weird clicking noise from these guys. Dude, look at that nest. That's cool. So these are cranes. I like their little old man hair. <laughs> That's funny. From behind, they look like old men with a bold spot. Well, all right, guys, uh, I guess that's it. Wow, it's really bright out here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.